Hi there, Jen and Casey here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about special populations again. And this is great for a ton of different clients, but we really find that this exercise is wonderful for your osteoporotic clients. So as you see, we have Jen set up here on a little bit of an incline. Now, as we know, for osteoporosis, you don't want to bring your client into a ton of flexion, but a lot of times they need some help getting their sternum and their breastbone down. So this little bit of an incline with a prop underneath the head, um, you might even have to prop the head up a little bit more, really helps them to find their core engagement, find the back body nice and long. Now, as we kind of move down the body, we have Jen's leg on a stability ball, and then we also have a bit of a thigh cuff on Jen's leg. So I'm gonna come around, you have the ball? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna come around and we have um, this really great bungee here. And Jen and I use this a ton with our clients. Thank you all. And go ahead and put your foot back down. So it's a little bit less tension than even your lightest spring, but it gives this beautiful feedback of the femur into the pelvis here. So we have two legs doing two different things. So that means a lot of organization has to take place within the client to try to maintain and stabilize their pelvis, their lumbar spine, all the way up into the thoracic spine and head, right? So Jen, I want you to take some nice inhales and exhales here. And I want you to allow this bungee to feed into the pelvis. Ooh, very good. And inhale and find a little bit more weight on the left side of your pelvis. So what's happening here is because this bungee is just getting this femur to go deeper and deeper into the back body, Jen has to start creating with her free leg here some of the same signaling even though there isn't the help of the bungee. So I want you to take an inhale here and on the exhale, Jen, can you feel like you're slurping this femur into the pelvis without bending the knee? Just getting that same messaging with two different stimuli. Ooh, even better. Inhale again. Exhale one more time, let this whole left side of your pelvis drip into the mat as you slurp the leg, that's so much better. Now, this might be enough work for your clients, but if you wanna add on a little bit of choreography, Jen, can you, on an exhale, as you slurp the femur through this midline of the body, inner thigh, can you drag this ball back about three inches towards you keeping your neutral pelvis, keeping each side spilling into the mat. Very good, just there. Now inhale here. Now on the exhale, when you extend the leg, I want you to feel this leg feeding into the body, almost mimicking what this little bungee is doing to the opposite leg as you extend. So she's pulling apart, finding contrast in the moving leg. Good, one more time, inhale here. Exhale, slurp that conveyor belt of the inner thigh deep and into the back of the hip socket. Ooh, very good. We saw the shake of truth there. That was great. Inhale here. And again, cueing contrast between this leg feeding deep and into the pelvis, just like it had a bungee, and yet extending out onto the ball. Very good. So this is, you know, it looks very simple, but this is a very difficult exercise. And if you've seen our, our videos before, we did a supine leg slide before, but this is the next kind of level up from that because we had the foot on the mat for that one. But this, we have this little bit of wobbliness on the ball. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you soon.